friends, E.C. Malt be here, senior pastor of the True Holiness Saints Center in the beautiful city of Conway, Arkansas. And you know what time it is. It is Wednesday word time. So what is our Wednesday word for tonight? Our Wednesday word is support. So what is support, Pastor Maltbier? Quite simply, support is to give assistance to. And the reality of the matter is, all of us need assistance from time to time in our life. All of us will need help to reach our God-given goals and our full potential in life. All of us will need support from time to time. And on this simple backdrop, I thought what I would do tonight in just a quick few moments is give you three people you need in your life to help support you reach your God-given goals and your God-given potential. So who are the three people, Pastor Maltbier, that all of us need in our life by way of support? Who are those key people that we need to help us along life's journey? The first person you need to help you along life's journey, the first person you need to support you, you need a Nathan. Yes, a Nathan. All of us need a Nathan in our life to help us in the journey. So who is Nathan, Pastor Maltbier? Nathan is symbolic or it represents the people in your life that you give permission to confront you or challenge you whenever you're in the wrong. All of us need a Nathan in our life. All of us need a Nathan or accountability partner who's not impressed with our position, who's not impressed with our possessions. In fact, we need a Nathan in our life that's not impressed by our connections. We all need someone in our life that has permission to tell us when we're headed in the wrong direction. In fact, 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 13 talks about the importance of Nathan the prophet in the life of King David. The Bible says in 2 Samuel 12 and 13, then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. See, when Nathan the prophet came to King David to correct him, because he had committed adultery and slept with Bathsheba and even tried to cover it up by having her husband killed, Nathan the prophet was not impressed by David's uh, position as king. He was not concerned about how much money David had. He was not concerned with who David was connected to. He was the one person in his life who could come and tell him when he was wrong. And because he had that type of permission, David immediately repented and changed directions. He immediately repented before God and got it right with him. In fact, let me digress and give you our social media quote for tonight. What is the social media quote, Pastor Maltbier? It is simply a thought or thesis we encourage you to put out on all of your social media platforms for inspiration and for information. But here it is tonight. Accountability helps to safeguard your life. Don't ever forget that. Having an accountability partner helps to safeguard your life. So you should never get so big or you should never get so prideful that no one can correct you. You should never get so confident or so full of yourself that no one can tell you when you're wrong. The Nathans in our life, those accountability partners, if you listen to them, they'll help you avoid unnecessary temptation. If you follow their advice, they will help you to avoid sinful entanglements. If you follow the words of the Nathans in our life, they will help us to see danger ahead and change course. All of us on this life's journey needs a Nathan, someone who can tell us when we're wrong. 
But the second person that we all need in our lives, we all need a Jonathan. Yeah, all of us, no matter our age and stage in life, we need a Jonathan in our corner because Jonathan represents those godly friends who support and assist us in making our dreams a reality. These are the people in your life that are your true friends that are for you, not because of what you have, but simply because of who you are. These are people who got your back, not because of your possessions, not because of your connections, not because of your position, but they love you for you. In fact, 1 Samuel 18, verses 3 through 5, talks about the significance of Jonathan's in our life. It says, and Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off his robe he was wearing and gave it to David along with his tunic and even his sword, his bow and his belt. Verse five, whatever mission Saul sent him on, David was successful. And so Saul gave him rank in the army. This pleased all the troops and Saul's officers as well. Now it's important for you to understand that Jonathan is King Saul's son. And by all rights, he was the next in line for the throne. But as soon as Jonathan realized that God had put David in position for the throne, Jonathan was a true friend. He didn't get jealous. He didn't become petty. He didn't become bitter but he did everything he could. He gave David every resource he had to help him reach his godly goals and his full potential. Jonathan was a real friend. And all of us need people in our lives that won't allow family difficulties or, or professional uh, business to mess with our friendship. We need people in our lives that once they realize that the hand of God is on us, that they will be our number one cheerleader, that we don't have to worry about jealousy or pettiness or them sitting back sulking because God is blessing us. All of us need a Jonathan in our life to encourage us when times get hard. We all need a Jonathan in our life to help refocus us when we get off track. We all need Jonathans in our life to love us for us. On this life journey, we all need help. We need assistance. We need support. One person we've got to have is a Nathan. Somebody that has permission to correct us when we're wrong. All of us need a Jonathan, someone that's a true friend that loves us for us, that won't get bitter or jealous, but will do everything in their power to help us reach godly goals. But then finally, every one of us, regardless of our age and stage in life, we need a Timothy in our life, a Timothy. So what are the Timothys in our life, Pastor Maltbill? Timothy represents those in life that we choose to mentor. Timothy represents those times in our life that we pay it forward. Timothy represents those people in our life, the future generations that we see and we can help along the way. 1 Timothy 1 and 2, the words of Paul. To Timothy, my true son in the faith. Paul says Timothy is my spiritual son, one that I'm mentoring and helping 
to get to the next level in God. One I'm mentoring and helping to reach his God-given potential. One of my mentors, Bishop D.L. Lindsay, has recently turned 100 years young. And I've heard Bishop Lindsay say this almost all of my life, but he has this quote that I absolutely love. Bishop Lindsay has said time and time again, I would be afraid to die without someone being ready to take my place. Bishop Lindsay understands the importance of having a Timothy. He understands the importance of pouring into the next generation. He understands the importance of paying it forward and helping the next person get to where they're trying to go in God. So maybe the question ought to become, who are you mentoring? Who are you giving a hand up to along life's journey? Who are you willing to invest your time and energy in to help them get over the hump or to help them to master something they're struggling with? We all need to be willing and unselfish enough to extend a helping hand to the future, to those that will come along behind us, we've got to start mentoring. Our Wednesday word tonight, church, is support. To assist, to help. We need that type of support in our lives. Until we speak again, my friends, be blessed.